Hi and welcome back to Preload. This week I want to show you a very tall puzzle which I'm calling the C18 Tower. Those of you who have been following this weekly series will probably remember the C10 Tower which I've presented last week. The C18 is a larger version of that puzzle with 5 instead of 3 layers. I liked the concept of that puzzle and was eager to create another version of it. For this puzzle I used a similar mechanism to what I've been using on my 1x2x5 puzzle. Basically the outer layers are connected to the puzzle core through long stalks. That made the whole puzzle quite risky and I was afraid of it to break. Fortunately that didn't happen. You might not have seen it in every case but up to this puzzle I have been using yellow PLA plastic for all of my 3D printed puzzles. That was the first spool of filament I had ordered together with my 3D printer. As I wanted my puzzles to have a neutral black background, I had to paint every piece black after the print, which was annoying and wasteful on black spray paint. So I was really happy when I was given several spools of black PLA as a present. This puzzle is the first one which uses the new black filament which I have been using for all of my puzzles ever since. Like the C10, the C18 tower has a bandaged middle piece and allows for 90 degree turns on the 2x2 faces. The movement is decent but not as good as on its smaller brother. You can clearly feel that this puzzle has a more complex mechanism. One thing that I regretted on this puzzle is the stickering. I was so happy about the black plastic that I just put the stickers on right after the print. Due to the rough surface and cylindrical shape of the puzzle, the stickers tend to fall off or warp at the end. As a result of this failure I decided to send most of my other puzzles before stickering, so that the stickers would, well, actually stick to the plastic. For the end of this video I was going to solve this puzzle. That however took me way longer than I thought and I got lost after some time so that I had to get my own 2x2x3 method out as a help. After that however I was able to solve the puzzle on camera which you can see right now. I hope you enjoyed this episode and would like to see you again next week.